Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Master Ah! Don't worry, Ian. It's okay because winter, winter's finally over. It's almost June. Sure it is. That's why I'm wearing flannel. It really just set that one up and was not thinking about what I was wearing, were you? I was thinking about when the video is going to be live, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking to the people watching this video, Ian. Oh, I know. Yes. But. Well, we completely ruined my intro, so hey, we're playing Star Tropics on NES. I tried to go into, you know, like summer vacation thing, and because it's set on tropical No one was going anything. to believe that it's almost June when I'm wearing flannel. They're going to believe it's almost June because that's when they're watching the video. That's. You know, I'm I'm referring to when oh, the video, I know. Yeah. I know. You talk about that, but it's short sleeve and you got your got your No, it's rolled up. Whatever. And it's flannel. Anyhow, this game is, is a little bit mysterious. It's uh, from the same team that did Punch Out, who who primarily worked on arcade games, but like they don't really do interviews. So like nobody knows why this game was only was released in the US but not released in Japan. It's, I was kind of hoping you were going to say, this game is kind of mysterious, so we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, Just no. play it. <laughs> the one thing I do want to mention is, hey, what if you'll, you'll grab the magazine, Ian? And show it to the people. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, really? Okay. So we do have our <sighs> Nintendo Power. Oof. With the yes, Star Choppers there's, cover. there's that June bronchitis. Awful. Why, why must you do this? Why, why, why must you break the illusion? You're the one who brought it up in the first place. Just, you know, you're, you're destroying our audience's immersion. You had to try to immerse them Let's in the first place. Let's play Star Tropic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, Ian, would you like to uh, Star Tropic or shall I? Um, you go ahead. Okay. So why don't you then be my navigator? Pull up all the, uh, I don't think we'll need it immediately, but, uh, ho-ho. That's weird. Why can I not, uh, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to register my name, there we go. Sell it. There it is. All right, now I can start this. Or can you? <laughs> so we're, we're going to the... Uh... See, the game is in summer. It says right there. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. So we got this uh, nice little village here to head to. So interesting thing. Uh, apparently, there is some broken music in this game. On the overworld there. Mood. Yeah, things get uh, kind of weird. So someone actually went in and hacked in the game to, to, to fix it. Yeah, so this is this is setting up the fact that he is a baseball player. Baseball related stuff in some of his combat. Talk to the pig. Though his main weapon is the yo-yo. Cause. Uh oh. Oh. F. Let's let's not tell that pig about that. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so yeah, you've got kind of got this overhead RPG thing going here. But uh, once we actually get into a uh, like a cave or whatever, the game switches to like overhead action style thing. Interesting. Dr. Jones? Yeah, right. Junior. Miracula, huh? So this is just He's weird. literally an archaeologist named Dr. Steve Jones. Hmm. They say, uh oh, shooting stars, that may be important later. All right, so do I, here we go. Get to talk to the chief here. Get a nice little first person thing. All right, so he's gonna give me some information here. Uh oh. Oh no. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. Uh, no, now yes. 
I don't know if this is a thing like in Dragon Quest where you say no and it just keep just puts you in a loop or what. Mm. Yo-yos actually are have been used as weapons. Yeah, there you so go. like it's not. How does Ace Pitcher uh, link up with being good with a yo-yo? I because I, you have arm strength. Is that where they're going with that? I don't know. So I'm gonna fight some monsters. That's fine. All right, I gotta hurry to the lab. There we go. That's that's what they need to make the new lightsaber. The yo-yo lightsaber. There you go. Just, you know, they have a ring on their finger, and it's... <laughs> Miss Curl 1990. And it can is also, it like, is. you know, connected to the okay. yo-yo. And they throw it out, and it... So many of those things seem like they'd be, like, really just super dangerous. Oh, what, all the weird lightsabers? Lightsaber variations, yeah. Like the lightsaber tonfas? Yeah. Okay. Or the saber whip. That's important word information. Just, just even like Kylo runs with with the the guards. You think you'd be if you're not careful that you're just like cutting your own side open. Yeah, but I mean, it's like a sword hilt. Yeah, but I mean, you don't have to normally ha don't have to worry about cutting yourself with a sword hilt. Is where I'm going with that. Mm. Anyhow, oh, following the North Star, all the Southern Cross. I know they're using Nato. Sweet. Okay. I'm making a uh, fuss of North Star joke that you're probably not going to get, so I'm just going to move mm -hmm. on. The way he holds the saber, though, it keeps it away from him. I just remember seeing something in, like, the last, uh, oh, it's auto-saving. That's nice. So, interesting thing about this game, you may notice it is, movement is grid-based. Annoying. Yeah, so, I feel it was probably an intentional decision that you can, like, look in different <coughs> directions. Because otherwise, you'd be walking off the platforms a lot. But it's something to be aware of, because you, you know you got to get uh, got to get used to the fact that it takes a minute to start going. RPG blobs. Yep, but you know this is, this play kind of plays kind of plays like Zelda. So I'm wondering if like you know the concept here is like this is Zelda for America. I'll look for some secrets here. Nope. Okay. Um, it was funny though, I was talking to someone once, they were talking about, like, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, and they're like, how doesn't he, like, slide his hand up it and cut it? And it's like, got his hand on the lightsaber, and it's like, if you actually look at it, there's, there's guards. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't come off, yeah. It doesn't just come out of the side of the hilt, there's right. emitter guards. What do, what do those stars do? Is there something on there telling you, right? I collected one, and I'm not sure why I wanted to. Once all of the villagers know you, you'll be able to enter the thing where they don't know you. Yes. I don't know if that's where you went. I spaced I, out. I did that already. Ah. Just... Stars. Stars also appear after some enemies are beaten. Collect five to earn a small heart. There you are, okay. Small hearts. Life replen replenishing single small hearts are left after sun en enemies have been defeated. There Potions. Fill yeah. hearts when your life meter is low by using this powerful medicine. There we go. Alright, so. There is a, uh, I don't know if it's in the first dungeon, but there is a uh, path that I do not want to go down to because it's like instant death. So there, there's, a, there's a trap area, so uh, just keep an eye out for that for me. It may not be till like, a later area. Where did you... Did you have to flip a switch to get to where you are? Yep. Okay. Switch has been flipped. I, uh, I handle that. Okay. Just catching up to... Yep. That's, that's why I wanted to have the Nintendo power. Because, you know, you get those nice maps. Mm. That was always a great thing about the uh, you know the strategy uh, strategies in uh, Nintendo Power is they they would actually go to the the crazy uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for the uh, oh rats yeah yeah <laughs> this thing says those are called jellies uh huh I can feel it in my jellies yeah but they would go to the uh, to the trouble of actually doing the thing. Of uh, screenshotting 
all these uh, various stages. Uh, which way do I want to go here? Um, actually, you can go both ways. The rooms to the left and right are dead ends. Hit tiles till you uncover the hidden hole and next room up. But okay. there's stuff in those rooms. So Is there? Well, it doesn't hurt to look. It's an RPG. Yeah. Just you know. Hey, they look like skulls. Haha. -ha, yeah. Dead ends. Which uh, maybe a little worried is all. You know, I didn't know if this was something, or if it was just like potential death. Cause like I said, there are like there are rooms in this game where it's like, yeah, you shouldn't have gone this way. Now you're dead. Well, that's rude. Yes, which is again why it's like ooh, I really wanted to have that map handy, so I wouldn't do that. Come on. Basket you never tired. saw Detective Pikachu, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't, get, I didn't see it. That's what I was referencing with the jellies thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess there's nothing here. So yeah, this this was just a waste of time. So let's move on. No, yeah, there doesn't the seem to be anything in the other one either. The correct one. Let's see. <gasps> that was dumb. Ah, you made with the die. I did. I lost a life. Oh, now I'm back at this turret. Oh, what was I thinking? I knew uh, not it doesn't to do actually that. tell you which tiles are correct, but you just have to jump around the tiles until it pops up. Yeah, I was thinking about jumping around the tiles, and I wasn't thinking about the fact that I couldn't actually jump two tiles. Womp. That was that was a mistake on my part, and now we're gonna have to redo a bunch of stuff. Awkward. So I do appreciate that uh, you can't actually walk off these blocks. That uh, that does keep you from just like you know, walking to your death too easily. Mmm. I had to like actively make a bad move to kill myself earlier, you know? Yeah. Though it is still really weird the way he kind of like takes a second to get moving. I mean, I can identify with that. All right, let's... Where, where, you, where? Yeah. You, you want, yeah. You, 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 what are you doing? I'm looking for the, uh, the secret block. You, you just did both. Switches. So. I just do both switches. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now. Now I have to find the the secret one. Oh, fun! That's not annoying at all. Isn't that what you just told me? Yeah, I figured they were all the same. I wasn't actually paying attention when you were doing this before. Hmm. There it is. There it is. Oh, weird. Sometimes I jump straight up when I mean to jump. The side and that's the I do that in real life all the time. Uh, I guess I need to hit a block to uh, open this. There it is. Boom. Yeah, okay. it's a. Uh, I found fire. 25 fire. Yes. Is that the special weapon here? I don't know. But Nintendo Power does, Ian. Does it? Surely. Collect the fire inside and move on. Here we go. Special weapon. Fire. Fling this flame to light up enemies from far away. It'll come in handy in the final encounter in this first tunnel. Yep, I'm going to save it. Ooh. Uh-oh. This you is a snakey fast. boy. Yeah. I got some more fire. So what else is in this uh, this room that I'm in? The end? Is it, sh should I bother going to the uh, the right here? Hold on. Um. It says something about a tile, but eh. yeah, didn't find anything. A tile on the left opens the hidden hole on the right. Ah. ah. All right. Is this, this is the secret, right? That's not going to kill me. Probably not. Okay. Potion. Good. I wanted that. I get hey, that yeah, there it is. Hidden holes lead to potions. Don't enter the room above as it holds certain doom. So I'm going, I'm just going back to the right, to the left here, right? Yes. Yeah. So that is the death, death room that I don't but want to But you got the potion, right? Yes. Okay. I get the potion and I leave. Yeah, you can... 
weird. That's such a trap. Yeah. It's kind of messed up. Oh, can I get more, uh... No. That's... What? The way this maps out, it looks like there's two potion rooms. Really? Yeah. Like, you can go up one, but then you have to go back. Or else you die. Oh, so I could have gone farther? Maybe? Well, too late now. It doesn't really explain it all that well. Oh. Oh, jeez. The sea serpent. Sea spelled just as a C. Alright. Doesn't give any advice. Ah, here we go. Save the fire. When the sea oh. serpent opens its mouth... Hit it with flames, then jump out of the way. When it counters, yeah. next, get ready for another attack. Alright. So, I saw the pattern was slightly different than it actually was. That's fine. Looks like it didn't send me too far back, but I gotta get me some, uh, some more of that fire. I do not want to have to get right in that guy's face. This serpent's on fire! Well, I guess this is, a, this is my opportunity to go further that way, though. Maybe. Flame. Because uh, I don't know if I... Uh... Aha! Neath. Yeah, so there it is. This is the medicine zone down there. So I didn't get it. So there is definitely another one, and the, the one above that is a death room? Yeah. Like, it looks... Like, literally, literally. You look at the map, okay? That's where you just went to. There's another room there, and then there's... Okay. Just being sure, because I'm, I'm down to one life because of that dumb mistake I made. Just... Yeah. So now just go back. Yes. Do I have to, like, actively use the potion? Probably. I wonder if it's like... A... Oh, this guy's kind of annoying. Alright. I'm just not sure how I use the potion. You drink it, usually. Oh, wait! The fire chest is there again. Yeah, it's, it's empty. I Are you sure? Yes, I checked before. The first time around, I, I tried getting it again, and it was uh, it was empty. So it, let me uh, it let me uh, use it again, but uh, or let me open it again, but there was nothing in it. Rude. I know. So when it opens its mouth, throw a fire. Yep. And then get out of the way. Yeah. Fire out of the way. Yeah, I thought maybe I could jump over it, but I could not. So. I was being impatient and trying to get more hits. Fire. But it uh, looks like I'm gonna have to be more uh, cautious, more patient, and cautious. Ah. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be a way to know when he's not gonna throw a fireball because you have to be gone before it actually uh, shoots. You know. Hmm. I'd like to be able to do this a little faster to get more shots in, but I want to be safe here. I don't want to lose another life and have to do this over. Mood. Come on. What? There it is. There you go. There it is. Because that's how serpents die. Uh, clearly. I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! Oh! Oh, check that action now. That's a that's the thing right there. Wasn't expecting to see that in the NES game. Bones. Of the boss I just killed. Yeah. Crazy. All right, so now we're. I've done it. Wow. Okay. Got some points. Apparently the fire is temporary. I don't get to keep what I have left over. Game saved. 
And uh, let's uh, we've got a little time left. You want to share we go to the next area? You go to the laboratory and meet his assistant, Babu. Yeah. There's, there's, hey, there's, look, there's Babu. Nice to meet Babu. All right. Haha. Ha. Mm. I wonder if there's any any uh, significance to that day. All right. Fourteen ninety-two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we can see we can we can see the uh, submarine. That's good. That's a big part of the game. There is actually a uh, so. Of course, I bought the. Haha! <laughs> it's Rob. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right. Oh, they're wa they're they're watching us go. That's a fun detail. But I was going to say that it's actually a game brand new came with like a map. And to uh, get to a certain point, you actually had to dip the map in water, which would reveal a hidden code that you input into the setup to get to an area. Huh. Of course, you can find that on the internet now, because obviously it's the same in every game, but... Oh, a dolphin. No, you don't say. Search for a lost dolphin. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find the dolphin. Okay. If you find, save the young dolphin, the mother will assist you in your journey. Alright. Is it telling me where to go, or am I just heading to this island here? Because I found an island. A little cave here that I can go in. Cute lighthouse. Check out the lighthouse while you're uh, while you're looking at it. Mm, I'm not finding anything about it. Isn't his wife? I would. Okay, I don't think I can go in this deep water here. Yeah. So how do I get to that house? Because I couldn't go that way. There was a... The light keeper knows a lot about the island, but he's not very talkative. Speak to him twice, he will reward your persistence by telling you an island secret. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's kind of thing they train you not to they train you not to do because like guys are always always having the same dialogue. Ah, okay. Interesting. The maze like lighthouse island has hidden passages both above land and below. You have to explore carefully to find a way to Octo's underground lair. Talk to residents for clues. Aha. Alright. Ooh, there's a there's a heart upgrade over there. Okay. Yes I am. Oh that's a shame. Battle on the beach, eh? Message in a bottle. All right, so it's over there, so I'm going to have to find... Oh. After you talk to the lighthouse keeper's wife and find a passage to the East Beach, you'll recover a bottle with a message from Dr. Jones. Yep. The message includes a code for the sub-sea. Oh, wow. It's 1776. Ah. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Before he enters Octo's lair, the, the big, doing the did thing you here. get the big heart? Not yet. How do I get to the big heart? Before you enter Octo's lair, you'll want to be ready for a serious battle. The big heart on the island will add to your energy and let you last longer in the fight. Then look for a hidden passage. It's uh, that. I, I know, I, but how do I get to it? One of the mountains is not as solid as the other. Somewhere near lies a secret passageway to a big heart. <sighs> do I, I don't know. I want to get back in the sub. Maybe I can... Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Ha ha. There we go. 
There we go. Now we can do this. Okay. Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Yay! Full power full car! Nice. Oh, that's, that's a decent amount of life. I thought it, was just, it would just be one, but it was several. Oh, dip. That was Push nice. up against barriers. You might discover a way to get to remote areas of the island. Indeed. Push against land barriers to see if you can go through. Oh, there we go. Well, it's saving our game, so I think that, uh... That's a good place to There we go. I think it's a decent game. Yeah. Uh, we didn't go very far, but we got a couple save points. Uh, it saves automatically, so it's not like Zelda where you have to go to a save. No. Though I just realized that I forgot to hold down the reset button while, while shutting it off. I don't know if uh, you have to do that with this one. Some some older uh, games that have uh, battery backup saves, you would have to hold down the reset button before turning the system off. Why? I don't know what the technical reason is, but you know there'd be a, there'd always be a warning. It's like before you shut off the game, you know, hold down reset and then hit the power button. It's some kind of quirk of the technology. Old video games are weird, man. I mean, you know, it was this amazing new idea they'd had. Like, hey, if we put a battery in this. <laughs> now they don't even need that. No, because they're all just on the flash. Well, actually, no, they just saved to the console. Yeah. Yeah. But even more recent games were just on flash memory anyway, so. Oh, uh, the days of memory cards. Yeah, yeah. But anyhow, it, it's weird that this game was only ever released in the U.S. I guess it does seem like it's very U.S. focused, considering that like all the uh, the two codes we saw, both of them were dates that are relevant to America. Yeah, when 1492, when Columbus sailed to America to commit genocide, hmm. and then 1776, when we declared our independence. Yes. From Britain. Yes. I'm not super jaded towards that one. I have my issues with America, but at least that had like, some good intentions, mm -hmm. but I have my issues with Columbus. He was, uh, in retrospect, not a great guy. I mean, when you read wasn't, some of the... Wasn't even in that... Didn't even have to take that long for the retrospect to kick in. He was disowned when he went back to Spain. It was great. Fantastic. Didn't read up on it. I don't know why he get, gets his own holiday in this country. Uh, because it was founded by... European settlers who uh, thought that it didn't exist until somebody from Europe sailed here. I... Except other Europeans had been here before. Yeah, but everybody forgot about that. Well, some of them had kept it secret. Yeah. But, like... I mean, again, the settlers were not people who were on friendly terms with Lee Ferguson. Well, I was talking more about the fishermen. Hmm. There were cod fishermen that actually were with, that actually sold fish to the church, like in Italy, that. They told no one of their secret fishing oh. spot. They've fished off George's Bank. They fished off the coast of like Connecticut and Rhode Island. I'd actually never Massachusetts. heard about that. Oh yeah, there's yeah. Uh, a few books that talk about it. And basically, like they kept it secret because the fishing here is just that good. They didn't right. want anybody knowing. And while they never, while there were no like being on good terms with the natives, basically they didn't go into the woods and the natives didn't bother them. They would just salt their cod on the beach and leave. Hmm. They were like, hey, if we don't bother the native people here, they don't bother us. So let's just, you know, keep everything separate and we're making money. Huh. <laughs> I'd actually never heard about that. So I've yeah. heard you were talking about like the Vikings having come here. Oh, no. no it okay. was actually Europeans that are way more recent to that point than the Vikings. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And they were with the church. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, that, he just got all the credit because he was the most well-known. So, yeah. And yet he, <laughs> and yet America Vespucci got the, the naming rights. Yeah, yeah. I, well, it's because he knew a map maker, I guess. But mm. anyhow, we should be talking about uh, Star Tropics. I think it's a decent length, uh, yeah. good graphics. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's the first party Nintendo game, so, so how bad could it be? <laughs> uh, unlike unlike a lot of the games we end up playing from these like older consoles, it actually seems playable and not just annoying for the sake of length. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how you know tough it gets later on, but 
Well, just still, like, it, even the, just the difficulty curve as it was, yeah. like, wasn't bad. Because some of them have these random difficulty spikes yeah. in, like, the second chapter. And it's just like, oh, yeah, this was an arcade game. Hmm. I mean, the snake boss was a little tedious, but... Uh, it was tedious, it but... Hard. Yeah, the pattern was it's easy like, to figure out. It's like, I just out. wish it had less, less health because, like, I've already figured out what I'm doing. Yeah. So it's just, like, can, blah, I, can we get it blah, over blah, with now? Blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But... I mean, you only have three health, so it's not like you can make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. I don't know, I, but, you know, like I said, Nintendo games are usually very polished, so... Wasn't much chance of the game being awful. No microtransactions. Yeah, no, you you couldn't couldn't do that on NES. Nope, that's what arcades were for. Yes, yeah, kind of. Like, buy three lives for a quarter. Basically. We loved it at the time, but then again, at the time, man, what you could do on an arcade game was so much better than what you could do on a home console. Yeah. So it was, it's kind of flashy. It's like paying for a ride at a roller coaster ride, you know. It's like a short experience, but it's something you can't get at home. Yeah. I don't really care for roller coasters, though. But I just, you know. I know. I'm just commenting. Half an example. Uh, other, other, of course. It's like it, the difference between watching a movie at home and watching a movie at the theater. Hmm. Like, you know, can't get that IMAX feel yeah, at yeah. home. Yeah, can't, so. Can't, you know, going to see The Force Awakens at the IMAX when that came out. And I remember one of the feelings where it was like uh seeing this in the imax is worth it where the sound system is so good i could feel the shaking when the millennium falcon was flying around it was like Ehh. and that's kind of you know similar sentiment to why you'd go to the arcade yeah. instead of playing the home game yeah uh but of course uh first as the first party nintendo game this is fairly accessible i'm pretty sure it's been on every version of virtual console that sold nes games as well. I didn't as, see it on the Switch Online availability, it, though. I would think it would be, but uh, that is, of course, it may have changed by now. I didn't look all that hard for it, because I kind of forgot. I feel like it probably is. I'll I, take a quick peek. Yeah, why don't you? Because I don't actually know where exactly that list is. So you can I usually just kind of Google, Google it. it. Okay. I don't, I don't um, know where Nintendo puts it, so. Because <laughs> I haven't had cause to check. Uh, but, you know, it's super available. I don't think the cartridge itself is even particularly rare. I don't know. I mean, as a first-party Nintendo title, it is probably a bit pricier. Not keep, super expensive. Keep but, talking. You know. I'm looking. I'm reading because I'm finding things, but I'm making sure I'm right about it. I mean, I do like the, the different perspective. Like, it's all where you got the tropical setting. Uh, your weapons are yo-yos, and like I'm pretty sure he gets a baseball bat at some point. He and does. I, think, I yeah. saw that in the yeah. thing. And I think you may even get like a uh, baseball so that you can throw his weapons, which actually does make sense, being his weapon since he's a pitcher. You know, you can. I mean, there's a reason batters wear helmets. Mm. You do not want to get. Uh, you do not want to take a baseball to the dome. It's uh, it's bad for you. The first things, just FYI, that come up when you look for this mm -hmm. is talking about the hidden clue that's unavailable in the digital yes. versions yes fortunately that is easily found on the internet i think it's like 747 or something <laughs> you know uh, obviously referencing the uh, the plane were those created by that point yeah yeah 747s were out mm -hmm. absolutely i didn't know uh yep 747 was in service if i'm remembering correctly it's been a it's been a while and of course, they eventually they printed it in it, Nintendo Power because a lot of people. If you have the Nintendo Online service, it seems to be available. Yeah, see, there you go. Uh, do they also does it uh, say if they have Star Tropics two as well? I am just gonna do uh, NES hmm. games on Switch. See what comes up for a list. They do have a decent amount. Like, of course, there was also the sequel, which uh, which changes some things. We'll, I think, definitely take a look at that at some point because I do have a copy. I actually managed to get a copy complete in box. So or I was, do I was happy you? About that. I do. Or do no, you? No, I do. I know where it is. It's fine. I gotta just start remembering just to like bring my switch. Ah, oh, here we go. Included games. Let's see. I know some interesting stuff has popped up on the uh, the switch service. Like they have Vice Project Doom, which is a game I've been trying to buy an actual cartridge of for years. Uh, Super Nintendo. I've run across it twice, and not and not, I didn't have the money for it either time. 
which was frustrating. It was like, ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks so cool in Nintendo Power. That was a pretty late era game. So pretty technically impressive. It's also just an interesting... Star Tropics 1 is. Okay. So if you have the Nintendo Online service, it's an available on the NES one. So you can try this yourself. If you have that service, you already have the game, go ahead and play it. See what you think about it. You're definitely not going to have to worry about resetting the console to, to make sure the save is okay. Mm. <laughs> Plus you got save state, so you can save at places where the game normally wouldn't save for you. Which yes. It's convenient. You could like stop, you could save right in front of the boss, so if you die, you can just restart it, you can retry it immediately. Which makes a lot of these games a lot, a lot easier to get through. Yes. Uh, I mean, you know, we did it the hard way back uh, at, at the time, but, uh, I mean, people are busy. Yes. Yes, so, they are. I mean, as long as you're not you know, abusing the save, save uh, too much, I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you. Plus, it's kind of funny to play games like that on, like, a 4K TV. Mm. Like, I'm playing Kirby, Kirby's Dream Land 3, because that's on the SNES yeah, collection. Yeah. On my 4K TV. Don't you actually own that, though? Well, yeah. Yeah. That's a whole extra setup. Okay, I'm just saying. You have, you have an original. <laughs> oh, I know. Just, I have to get out a separate TV. Okay. And the console and all that. When the Switch is just... Yeah. Okay, convenient. I got gotcha. you. It's just there. Then we will have to play your, your, your cartridge, because that's, I think, the only last Kirby game we uh, one of us has that we haven't played. I don't remember which one I brought in that we played already. Uh, none. We've played one none. that I own so far. Oh, that's right. I was just playing it at home that one time. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we've, we played, you know, the original Kirby's Adventure. That's, that's, yes. yes. That's the one and, that got turned into Nightmare in Dreamland. And no, that's Kirby's, that's Kirby's Dreamland, which was the NES one. I think Kirby's Adventure is the very first one on Game Boy. Yes. So we played the original Game Boy game and the first NES game. Yes. That's what I own for Kirby games. And you owned... Uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3. Yes. Which we'll have to check out at some point. If I ever come across a GBA copy of Nightmare in Dream Land, I'm going to nab it. Sure. I know it's a remake. We'll play it. But it's fine. that game, I must have played through 50 times. And also, it's just something you like to eat, hopefully. Well, actually, no, you don't have any sort of Game Boy. Do you still have a DS you can play that on? No. Uh, well, we can play it here anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, definitely try out Star Tropics if you have <laughs> any of the many ways to play it. Like pretty Probably much. find an SP online easy. Yeah, I think they're pretty cheap. Game Boy SP. Those were the good ones. Plus they got that, uh, if you're willing to spend $200 on it, Analog has their uh, Analog Pocket, mm -hmm. which I think will be out by the time this, uh, might be out by the time this video yeah. launches. Probably just spend like $30 and get a GBA Yeah, SP. I mean... They're very nice, but they're definitely kind of boutique. Mm. I mean, if I had the money, I'd consider it because it's also going to play Game Gear, uh, Atari Lynx, and uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color games. Ooh. And I don't own two of those systems, and there's no way to get video out of Neo Geo Pocket mm. Color. Very pinky up. So, like, it's still technically emulation, but they're usually very accurate. I can use my original, uh. original cartridges and be, have a way to, you know, play these three portables that we wouldn't pre we weren't previously able to play on the show yeah but it's also going to be expensive so chances are good i can be like yeah i can't spend that now i kind of want to find a copy of nightmare in dreamland anyway yeah so we kind of run out of stuff to say about this but uh it's a good enough game yeah give it a try it's your latest if game. you got if you got a switch it's easy to play well you, you got a switch online you probably already do because it's only like 20 bucks a year yeah so I don't see why people complain so much about that. I mean, like, I get that it was free to start, but here's a bunch of free games. I, I feel like those games are worth 20 bucks a year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, they lots of great first-party Nintendo titles and a few uh, rare obscure things that are would cost you more than $20. Oh, long. yeah. <laughs> and they've been doing, like, uh, there'll be two versions on there. One where, like, the game is 100%, so then you can go through and yeah, just yeah, faff the, around. Yeah. ESP releases are interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But anyhow, if you uh, enjoy just walking the dog and around the world and 
for his other yo-yo tricks. Do defeat enemies. Make sure you give this episode a like if you want to catch future episodes in which we use other improvised weapons. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. I've been Dan Master and you can catch me on Twitter at, at New Tech Cola. I'm Ian Butterfield. You can find me on Twitter at ENG Butterfield. You can find the show at Retro Game CNCT, Facebook.com forward slash Retro Game Connect and Retro Game Connect dot com. Let us know what you thought of the episode of the games we played. Let us know if there are any games you'd like us to play. We can get our hands on them. We might just play them or we might just bash them up with a yo-yo. Mm. But most importantly, make sure you join us next time on Retro Game Connect.